Good morning, everyone. Here is your fun fact of the day. Do you ever think about how common English words are? Or do you ever consider how many different words we use in the English language? Do you ever ponder just how many different words you might use on the average day? Well, if you use any of these words, especially as far as the mental faculties happening upstairs, you're already on your way to examining and employing the 56th most common word in the English language, and that is think. If you think about something, you can consider it. If you think about something and reach a conclusion, you have determined something. You can expect it, you can feel a certain way, you can judge a fact to be true or false. You should usually do that based on evidence and not your own personal feelings. When you think hard enough, sometimes you may come to a realization. You might realize what something is, or you might simply gain more understanding. So thinking is actually a little bit too specific of a word in that we can actually think in a lot of different ways. We can go through an entire, men entire mental process that will go from start to finish, and several different words could be more accurate to describe like what part of that process we're on as far as examining some initial things and then considering them and how they all work together, hypothesizing about some of these factors and what it might mean, and then coming to an understanding. All of which qualifies as thinking, but you don't have to use the word think for it. Hope you've enjoyed this fun fact of the day. See you again soon.